Hey everybody, it's Mike Drudge coming to you from Vaught RV here in Fort Worth, Texas. Right behind me is a beautiful 2022 Whitehawk 29BH. It's 34 feet 9 inches long, fully loaded about 8,500 pounds. Before I get started, I want to point out my top three favorite features about this floor plan. Number one, a functional outdoor kitchen with a little sink, cutting board, refrigerator, and a pull-out utensil drawer with a bottle opener. Number two, a spacious living area. And number three, an access door for the bunkhouse area for storage. Let's take a look on the outside of this guy, shall we? This is really one of my top favorite things that didn't make the cut this time, but in every White Hawk you're gonna have, look at here, we have a little table slot. You always need a table on the patio side of your coach. Right here we have one, and right here we have one easily accessible inside this door, and it stays up out of the way, so we have plenty of room to store the rest of our camping goodies underneath here. Really a fantastic design element that's in um, uh, every White Hawk, it may be in different spots on White Hawks, but on this one it's in the storage door and I really like that. We have our polar white uh, color scheme now on this 2022. Lots of awning access out here for covered patio space over the picnic table and so on. Frameless windows, you'll notice on the White Hawks, now we're into a frameless window system that tilts out. So you can tilt this guy out. A rain shower comes in the middle of the day, it's not going to rain inside, but you can still keep that window open for nice ventilation. Now in the White Hawk, we have um, the signature window unit up in front of this coach. So uh, that's automotive glass window. That's almost always your headboard uh, inside the coach. So you can open up that blind and get a lot of natural light in there. It's really aesthetically pleasing and really makes for a classy uh, front end of this. Courtesy lights up here and you'll notice right here these big monstrous larger propane bottles. When we move up from a J-Flight to a White Hawk we get larger propane bottles. Two thirties in here. Electric tongue jack, lighted. So this makes it super easy for hooking and unhooking and leveling as you go really easy. Of course we have our battery tray right behind here. We fully prep all the units and put battery or batteries in, in in some cases and fill the propane for you. Notice down here we have solar on the side. So if you want to add solar capabilities to this you, uh, you can plug in right here. You don't have to go up on top of the coach. It's wired to have solar on the side right on the tongue. Opposite side of our pass-through storage over here. Again, it goes all the way through. Notice how clean this is. I don't have wires dangling down and everything. Nice, clean storage. Uh, plenty of room for me to sleep down there. Actually, I get in trouble. I can sleep down there. Um, watch your step here, Brian, as we step around these units. We got them pretty close together. This is a neat feature that you don't often get is extra storage. Look at this. This is great. I can think of a lot of ways I would use this extra kind of bonus storage area here. It's long enough for fishing poles, great fishing pole storage actually, bag chairs, camping gear, dirty shoes, um, you know some of your plumbing accessories can fit in here. You don't often get an additional storage area besides the pass through one up front, but we do on this one and I really like that. Outdoor shower here, of course hot and cold. Pop this lid down and we have hot and cold shower here. Um, black tank flush right here. So pop a hose on here, open up your sewer valves and let this run. It does a fantastic job of uh, keeping your black tank clean. And Jayco does a nice job labeling all your connections. So we have gray tank, black tank, and um, color coded of course as well. So gray and black here. Uh, on your sewer outlet, and our sewer, uh, sorry, city water connection up on top here. Takes the guesswork out of it, especially if you're um, doing this for the first time and, and learning as you go. Detachable power cord, I can tell by the size of this power cord, we're in a 50 amp coach here, so it's a detachable 50 amp power supply. Table and uh, T, <laughs> cable TV and satellite input. I'll slow down and try to speak clearly. Uh, if you have cable at your campground, and you often will, 
right here's where you'll hook up and now you'll have cable all over the inside of the coach and on the patio side conveniently located right there full-size spare tire as is always the case with Jayco and here's this wonderful door I just love this man so we have another access point to get in here to put larger items and look we can secure them here with these d-rings so uh, bicycles can go up in there heavier items dirty items from a campsite uh, notice I have the the bottom bunk here flipped up and secured in the up position so I have I'd say probably a good four four and a half uh, feet of height here to put bicycles and so on and stow them for travel and I can access it with this door out here I really like that or you may have a dog that you wanted to put a ramp here for the dog to get up in the coach a little easier that would be another use for this so like that roof ladder uh, again uh, frameless windows over here now this is a real functional outdoor kitchen notice everything in here um, is enamel it's it's impervious to moisture so if you're making a mess cooking out here on the patio side everything wipes down easily we have power supply back here for your blender your margarator or what have you this is a utensil drawer use it as you wish with our nice branded Jayco bottle opener right here uh, little drink refrigerator and then your gooseneck faucet little basin tub sink cutting board with storage underneath it here we also have power um, back there and light under here so if you're out here after dark there's a good chance you probably will be you can see what you're doing and there's enough room in here that I can see to the back of the work surface and make this a real usable space notice we have a J port here moving into 2022 these white ox will have J ports looks like a hitch receiver that's where your blackstone griddle will go so we have our utensil drawer sink over there refrigerator here and our blackstone griddle right here now why don't I have a blackstone griddle here to show you thanks to this little germ that's floating around here in the past year there's a shortage of blackstone griddles but you'll get a little coupon in your paperwork when you buy this you can sign up online and you'll get a blackstone griddle when they become available again now under here we have a lot of patio real estate a lot of real estate under here so your picnic tables out here you're having a party you're entertaining guests you got your outdoor kitchen area over there a lot of covered space to enjoy the outdoors this is your water heater um, access panel your furnace here behind your uh, refrigerator back side of the refrigerator here your potable water fill right here again we have our cable TV and satellite connection on this side now if we hooked up to cable TV on the other side at the park where we're staying at now we have cable TV connection right here and a mount to put the TV as well as power supply here so now we can enjoy television on the patio side I don't always talk about the stronghold VBL enough so I'm going to mention it here you'll see these stickers on fiberglass units uh, from Jayco what's that mean it's stronghold vacuum bonded lamination 16 minutes 144 tons it's a time-consuming tedious expensive process but you're the benefactor because this wall which is essentially a sandwich is going to look like this 10 years from now virtually eliminates the possibility of delamination over the course of the lifetime of this coach as far as i know nobody else is doing that in the rv industry but jayco does the last thing you want is for this wall to delaminate over time which tanks the value it's one of the reasons that jayco holds its value way more than their nearest competitor love these beautiful entry steps nice wide entry steps that tuck away for travel these are the moride step above steps which are standard in all white hawks pop this in like so latches right there for the travel position to deploy it simply release it there and drop it down and of course these are adjustable so if you're on uneven ground they're adjustable nice wide door so if you've got your arms full of camping gear you're loading up for a trip 
plenty of room to get in and out. Really like that. Let's go inside and have a look and I'll show you some neat features on the inside. Now we're on the inside of this White Hawk 29BH. This is a 2022 year model and there's some neat changes that Jayco has incorporated in 2022. On this unit, 2022, we have a 55 gallon fresh water supply tank. That replaces the 42 gallon that we used to have. Also, the roofing material is Diflex 3 on top of this. That's a 20 year warranty product double what the warranty was previously. So a couple neat new features that are coming online standard in 2022. Look at this backsplash. If you could touch this like I am, you'd realize that this is actually a smooth surface. But looking at it from a distance or even close up, that looks real. In fact, when I first saw it, I thought, wow, they're putting real tile on the back of this backsplash. I even had our technician come out and say, wow, real tile. Oh, it's actually not. Super lightweight, but it looks very classy. Subway tile um, with these beveled edges is what it looks like. And even the grout lines look, look realistic. It ties in nicely to this countertop material which is a, a, a molded, one piece molded, impervious to moisture surface. Nice stainless steel double basin sink here and our char charging port with our USB uh, charging locations as well as household current up here. For travel, just release it right there, pop it down and secure it when you get to your destination, pull it up. That way we can put our coffee maker, our toaster oven, those things right here. Now we have a nice three burner cooktop with a glass cover. Pop this back and it becomes your backsplash. This lifts up easily for cleaning. Nice backlit controls here. Modest sized oven, plenty big enough for pot pies, pizzas, and so on. And then have some storage under here. I know I talk about it all the time, you're sick of me hearing it, but I like it. It's full extension drawer glides, guys. These drawers come all the way out. It's the little things, folks. I hate it when drawers only come out that, that far and a lot of cheaper brands give you cheap drawer glides. These are ball bearing 75 pound drawer glides that are full extension. So you can get to those items that you need to that invariably roll to the back during travel. Have storage underneath the sink here, a little bit of storage. Little microwave in here. It's not a huge microwave, but big enough to warm up leftovers and warm up soup and so on. This is the modern farmhouse decor option that Jayco offers. Uh, so it's sort of a washed white, by far the most popular decor option that Jayco offers. And this puts on display Jayco's cabinet build quality. These are solid maple cabinet doors. They're not OSB or particle board with tape or vinyl to make them look like real wood. They're real wood. Styles are glued and screwed together, pocket screwed, and then the whole assembly is screwed to the wall of the unit. Very nice. Now we have this Furion 10 cubic foot I think it's 10 cubic foot. It might be eight. You can fact check me on that, Brian. But it is a 12 volt refrigerator. So it's considerably larger than a typical RV refrigerator. Notice there's no fins in there like you would see with a gas absorption type refrigerator. This is running off 12 volts all the time. A lot of people say, well, I can't dry camp with that and I can't camp off grid with that. Yes, you can. So this is running off your batteries. It will continue to run off your batteries when you turn your truck off. Uh, if you're off grid and you don't have a power supply of any kind whatsoever, plug it into your truck, let it idle for a couple hours, that will charge your batteries. A lot of people say, well, how long will it run on just batteries? It's a function of how much other current draw you have, how many lights you have on and how many other things you have that might be a parasitic draw on your uh, on your batteries but suffice it to say you very much can go dry camping with this especially if you either have a generator or you put solar uh, solar on board here and that's another option we can talk about storage to the left of the refrigerator nice deep storage actually goes all the way to the outside wall 
of the unit. A lot of folks ask what this is. <clears throat> of course, <clears throat> this door pops down and it's the secret button for the grenade launcher. <clears throat> no, these are the fuses for your 12 volt system and your breakers for your 120 volt system. All nicely labeled, takes the guesswork out of knowing uh, what you're looking for. If you've got a component in here that's not working, the range hood fan's not working, the microwave quit, first place I'm gonna go to is say did it in a microwave and see if that breaker's popped or a fuse is bad. Now we have a fireplace here, which is really code for fancy space heater. So uh, I love these, uh, you know, if you're at a campground and you paid your nightly fee, you can knock the chill off your unit by using this uh, fireplace. And it's kind of neat looking too. Right below the entertainment center, right where the fireplace should be, you can stream music uh, through this entertainment unit, uh, through the speakers inside here, as well as on the patio on the outside. Insignia brand television. And some more storage up on top. So you know, we're 34 uh, feet and change here. A lot of little nooks and crannies of storage makes this uh, very functional. Now behind me, I was bragging about the living space in here. Notice we have these inserts. These pop in and out. If you don't want them, you, don't have, you can toss these under the bed up there, but they're kind of handy for movie night. Have your popcorn and beverage right here, right across from the TV and the fireplace. Uh, these are comfortable, you know, they're reclinable. Just pull on this little tab here. So this is what I call camping, right? This is camping. Uh, Brian, could you reach me? Uh, yeah, never mind. Don't have any drinks in there. We should do that sometime though. So, but very nice open spacious area. So if we have a couple couples or kids in here, there's plenty of room to maneuver in here and not feel like we're all on top of each other. Again, these can be popped out if you don't want them. Swing them out of the way. Notice the nice classy underlit uh, areas here under, under each side of the dinette. Makes for a really neat night light too at night. Casts just enough light ac across the floor uh, so you can maneuver about inside. I love this huge dinette, which also does convert into a sleeping surface. It drops down right into this post. Um, so instead of the two poles that are always knee knockers, you have this single post. It's easy to convert. Grab it here and here, pull straight up, and then all we have to do is remove this and toss it under there or under the bed. And now we have basically a sofa area. So mom and dad can be getting the nice comfortable recliners. Kids can have pillows over here and be watching a movie. Uh, converts into a living room space. When it's time to put this back, just line this up with that little paddle, drop it down, and there we go. Nice light fixtures up here and sconce lighting on the side of the unit. Uh, notice there's a power outlet supply right behind the chair here for charging your gadgets and so on. So really like this because there's so much room, elbow room to maneuver about. If you've got bunks back here, these are double bunks. So a couple, two adults can sleep up here, two adults can sleep down here. By Jayco's definition, these are double bunks double up here, double down here. That means 600 pound weight capacity up here, 600 pound weight capacity uh, down here. Or maybe an adult and a child can sleep in here. Uh, grandparents are along for a weekend. So really nice flexibility on the use of that store, uh, area as well. Now up into the bedroom area in the front, we have a nice pocket door here. So we have complete privacy on the inside here when we want it the AC running on this unit. Again, it's a 50 amp coach, so I have AC uh, here in the bedroom as well as up in the front. One thing we don't often get in a unit that's old 30-ish, low 30s feet long is a closet. Look here, we have a closet. And look in there, Brian. I mean, you've got a bay of drawers. You can store uh, hang, hanging clothes up there. There's a mirror hang the hats over there and there's a power outlet in there as well. So you can have a charging station for phones and so on. Very nice uh, use of space. It's just rare to get that much extra storage in a small unit. Love these lights too that, that Jayco's putting in the Whitehawks. So we have 
backlit blue, tap it again, and now we have blue here, which is a nice, pleasing sort of night light. Tap it a third time, and it's a reading light. Both sides work just the same. Now this is that window I was bragging about in, uh, outside. Give this a tug. Look how bright that is. So it's a nice warm day. I'm gonna keep this closed to keep the heat out, but if you're at the lake or the river, what a view right here on your headboard. Pull this guy back down, total blackout, very, very nice. Jayco's upgraded the quilt pattern on your comforter here. Gives you a nice classy pillow, very nice looking. Um, this is a comfortable mattress, king size bed here, and we have storage under here as well. So, we have that Blackstone griddle platform that I was talking about earlier. It's laying under here. Again, you will get a coupon for a Blackstone griddle since uh, there's a bit of a shortage for those right now. But lots of storage under here for blankets and linens, extra jackets, uh, stuff you're going to need at your final destination, but you don't want to take up room up front. Have gas struts under here that hold this bed up so it's easy to access in all the items under there. And I always tell, I love the new mattresses Jayco's using. This is a foam mattress. It's a Serta. It's not an inner spring mattress. It's a foam mattress, a uh, memory foam type. It's very, very comfortable. Softer than the last ones, right? Very, very much so, because a lot of folks complain that the other ones, while they were Serta, were a little bit too firm. Um, you can remedy that by putting a topper on it, you know, uh, an egg, egg crate topper on top of it. But this is soft, right? Uh, not too soft, but very, very good quality. Uh, I like this mattress. And notice if you're shopping around, and you should, this is plywood. If you shop around for trailers and you see particle board under here, buyer beware. If they're putting particle board here, they're probably putting particle board under your feet where you can't see it, or maybe in the roof structure. Not with a Jayco. It's real plywood here, floor and roof. Nice master bedroom. And there's a little storage on either side as well. You can hang, hang items over there and then on this side as well. They're both just alike. So shirt, shirt hanging as well as our closet back here. I'm just noticing that this unit already has solar on board. Right here we have our charge controller. So we have solar panels on top, and this is our charge controller telling us how much it's charging, battery status, and so on. Of course, we don't have a battery on board, so it's a little bit confused. But right here handy so you can monitor charging status already on this coach. Helps keep your refrigerator happy, keeps your batteries happy, keeps all the 12-volt systems happy. Let's check out the bathroom. Always need to pine out the bathroom because this has a nice spacious shower. All right, we have this uh, shower curtain assembly here, but uh, we should do a contest. Yes, I'm six feet tall. Thanks for the light switch there, Brian. Six feet tall, 185 pounds, average size guy. I got plenty of, of room to maneuver here, and the skylight means that someone that's, say, 6566 six, six, has still got plenty of headroom up here. Notice uh, we've got black fixtures inside here. It's a little change to 2022 and a nice uh, classy shower surround. There's that commode. like to point out the commode. We have a commode, folks. Right there, plenty of uh, leg room uh, for a guy with long legs like me. One piece molded uh, sink uh, basin right here. Um, classy faucet. And you do have a medicine cabinet up top here to put the toothbrush homes and so on. So very functional little bathroom space. Check out this bunk. I was talking about how you can access the area through that door in the back. So here we are with the bunk deployed. It's hinged including the mattress. So all you have to do is push this up out of the way and you have access to your door back there. You can secure it in, in the upright position or drop it down to deploy the bunk. It's hinged along the bottom. We have a great little timeout area under here with this uh, bungee kind of apparatus that'll keep all your camping gear from sliding around during travel. Great place for the dog, great place for the kids to hang out. Really like that feature. So we're in a White Hawk 29BH. This is a 2022. So some neat new features that are standard that weren't standard previously. Love to show this unit to you. 
give me a call. My name is Mike here at Vaught RV in Fort Worth, Texas. Love to show this to you in person. Make sure to click like and subscribe down below so you'll be the first to know when we post similar videos just like this. See you next time. Thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions, be sure to drop a comment below. Or if you have any suggestions on content you'd like to see, we'd love to hear about that. Go ahead and give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks again from Vaught RV.